CC. So go ahead. This year kind of going by faster than we thought it would. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, I knew it would go by fast, but, you know, the season, it always flies by having so much fun, especially with it being my last year. It's gone by pretty quickly. How do you feel about uh, leaving your college career? Uh, I mean, it's bittersweet. Obviously, there's, there's always new doors to open up, but you know, playing college basketball is it's a dream come true and get to play at a place like the University of Louisville. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's bittersweet. You've told us about your desire to go into coaching eventually. What have you picked up from Coach Mack maybe during this rough patch and how to handle a team through rough spells? Uh, I think his demeanor, you know, his, his um, ability to be, you know, to correct us and instruct us like you know in a fiery manner when when it's needed but also maintaining his his calm temperament that you know he always displays and you know just always picking his brain and, and watching everything he does I mean he's from as far as the way he communicates with us after a loss to during games and you know after wins he was pretty critical after the game the other night what's it been like since, I mean, what's he talked to you about? What, has it been rougher or, or what? Yeah, I mean, naturally, yeah, but it's just, you know, it's no secret. Guys got to play better, you know, from the top to the bottom. Um, and we're not running from the fact that, you know, we know that we're not pointing fingers or anything. Everybody's looking in the mirror. We want him to be critical. Kristen, do you think it's a lack of confidence team wide in the, in the second half of these games? Uh, yeah, I mean, it is, but that's something we got to move past. You know, we, we shouldn't have to look for coaches to give us confidence. You know, at, at, when you're playing at the highest level of college basketball, you know, confidence is something that you should have. We, we don't need anyone to give that to you. If, if that's the case, then that shows that you don't have very much at all. So it's a matter of, you know, we've finished games before. We've won 18 times. We just got to get back to closing our games. In your opinion, where do you think you guys started to lose that confidence? Was there a single moment? I don't think there was a single moment. I mean, we've, since February 2nd, I think we've lost like, I don't know, six of eight games or something like that, maybe five or seven. Um, I think it's, a, it's collateral damage from, from Florida State to Duke to you know, almost slipping up against Clemson. This has been a series of events. One of the main problems, if you look at the statistics, is that shooting under like 35 percent yeah. for the last four games, I believe, or three or four. What's gone into that? Why do you think that is? Because you were shooting well. Yeah, not sure. I mean, that's what I mean when I say guys got to play better. You got to step up. If you look around the conference, other players are producing. You know, that coaches aren't doing anything different than our coaches. They're playing the same league against the same defenses. We got to step up and players make plays. Nobody can do it for us. And this stretch, do you, do you best feel maybe teams are really trying to make it difficult on yourself and Jordan when you guys have the ball offensively? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what basketball is. I mean, you try to take away the other team's strengths. So. You know, they're going to try to clog the lane on me so I can't, you know, facilitate as well and make plays around the rim and spray out to my teammates. And obviously they're going to squeeze Jordan and try to, you know, make him play in crowds and make it difficult for him to score. It's, it's obviously different levels, but you did experience this, I think, in your second to last season at Samford where you guys kind of had a, a rough stretch at the end and then bounced back in the conference tournament. What are some of the things that you remember from how your team kind of recovered from that to, to start winning again? Uh, it's just resiliency. I mean, that most college teams, besides you know, maybe the top ten, go through rough stretches. I mean, I'm not saying they lose five of seven, but you know, there's you know, that's part of a season. There's highs and there's lows. It's like we had a six-game winning streak right before it started. I mean, it's got to be resilient. You got to be tough, and and you know, understand that this is March. You know, like there, there's only one chance. You only get one chance in March Madness. 
only going to get one chance at the ACC tournament and one chance in the NCAA tournament. Has this year been what you kind of expected? You know, I mean, you said it went fast. You knew it was going to go fast. But from the day you announced that you were going to do that until Sunday when you're going to walk out there with, with your family, has it been what you expected? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better situation. Um, you know, from getting to play for a coach like Coach Mack, you know, someone who's, you know, exuded complete confidence in me. Um, giving me the keys to the team, let me take over. You know, coming from a school like Sanford, it's not a lot of coaches who would do that. But um, having great teammates, guys that were susceptible to my leadership, I mean, it's been a great year. What happened to uh, your eye? Uh, I got poked in the eye during the game, kind of swelled up, and then I got scratched in practice. Did you find a donut place? I, I read the the recommendations, but I have not visited yet. Do you have a place you have in mind? Well, the the winner of the poll was I think Nords. Mm -hmm. That's um, good choice. It, it was kind of a runaway winner, so I'm I'm gonna visit it. Just haven't quite got time yet. Anything else? Anyone? Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Coy was speaking at an elementary school.